Hey guys, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the session of Python interview question for DevOps. So as you can see on my screen, today is day 12th and we are going to discuss a very interesting program today, which is matrix multiplication. So as you can see on my screen, there are three matrices over here in which one is three by three matrix and second is also a three by three and third, which would be the result of it, which would be matrix three is also a three by three. So something about matrices is that matrices are basically uh, are into rows into columns. So anything that goes this way is rows and this way is columns. So do not get confused rows into columns. Okay, so this is how you do it. Now we are going to add two matrices over here, which is exactly of the same size. So if three by three matrix is added to three by three matrix, then the answer would be a three by three matrix. So it's kind of simple okay so on my uh, m1 is matrix 1 m2 is M matrix 2 and the third one you can see the result so this is what we are going to do today in a program and we are going to see the final result so it is very interesting and i have done in such a way that you will understand what exactly is happening at every iteration all right so uh, if you're new over here i would like to request again that please subscribe the channel because it supports me to create more content for you so without further ado let us dive right into the video. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, this is day 11th and I'm already in the path of day, sorry, day 12th and I'm already in the path. Let me minimize this. And we have discussed only one program today, which is addmatrices.py, which is the Python file. And these are the terms that I already showed you in the, in the, in the picture. And this is the iteration.txt, which will easily explain you what exactly is happening at the first iteration, second iteration and third iteration. Okay, so let us understand the program first. So right now what we are doing is we are taking a matrix over here, you can see that it is a list over here. There are three elements over here, three elements over here and three elements over here. So if you are going to calculate the length of this list, it would be three. Again, exactly the same case, three numbers over here, three numbers over here and three numbers over here. Again, the length would be three for this. Okay, so we are taking this as matrix one and matrix two. Okay, so singular is matrix and plural is matrices. Okay, and this is what we are going to take the final matrix because we want a empty matrix in order to add these values and push it into some kind of matrix. Okay, so I hope you guys have understood this part. Okay, now we are what we are going to do. We are going to run two loops, one loop from the outside and one loop in the on the inside. Now this would run for rows, which is this, this is rows. And in this way, we count as columns. And this would run for columns, which is this. Now what is happening over here, a for loop is running for the range of length m1. So length m1 would be three, as I told you, okay. And then again, inside, we have one more loop for variable j length of m2 which is 3 so both of them will run three times and then how it runs is m3 ij which is this one ij means i would be our row and j would be our column and then we are going to add the elements present in i j and then m2 i and j and that's we are going to put into m3 ij and that's we are going to print it over here okay so this 10 is going to be added to 90 which is 100 this 100 is going to be added to this 100, which is 200. The 60 is going to be added to this 40, which is 100. This 80 is going to be added to its 20, which is 100. So this will look something like, we'll show you what is happening. And it is very interesting, okay? So if I do it like this and hit enter, you can see the final matrix is this, okay? And this is perfect. Just take a pause over here, pause the video and try to add this element to this element, this element to this element which is 100 and that's what we are going to have the final result. Now if in order to understand what exactly is happening, then what you can do is, uh, if you even go over here, this is not important, let me go over here, iteration.txt file, okay, click like this. You can see in the first iteration, what will happen is this is the logic, try to understand it like this. In the first logic, i is 0, j is 0, so 10 plus 90 would be 100. Iteration 2, i equal to 0, j equal to 1, and then 100 plus 100 would be 200. If you want to take a look, you can see this 
100 and 100 would be 200 and then 230 plus 70 which would go in the iteration this 0 and j equal to this would be 2 so let me just save it 230 and 70 and this is how it will look so at the first iteration 100 would be the first thing that will be added in second is 200 third would be like 300 and then this is complete then it will start from this 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 and you can see it in a triangular form pause the video right here if you do not understand now i have written the program in such a way that you will understand and if you want to see what exactly is happening at every iteration just uncomment this line and this line so 23 and 24 save the program and now the magic begins now let's see what is happening i'll just clear the screen cls enter and you will see the magic over here so it will show you each and every step that what is happening so here i equal to zero and j equal to zero so what is happening this 10 is added to this 90 and the answer is 100 now i is zero but j is what one so this 100 is added to this 200 okay and then what is happening in the next step when i equal to 0 j equal to 2 so this 230 would be added to 70 and this is how it is working and then i equal to 1 j equal to 1 i equal to 1 j equal to 2 i equal to 2 j equal to 0 1 2 and you can see that how an iteration would work over here okay so zeroth row zeroth column zeroth row first column zeroth row second column and how do how do you do it so understand it this way the iteration happens from zero but do not get confused because in mathematical way this would always be first column first row sorry first column first row first column first row second column sorry second row first column second row third column sorry second row second column second row third column third row first column third row second column third row third column in mathematical way it is like this but in here in python we started from zero so do not get confused about that all right so if you have not understood what i just said just pause the video go back listen it again that what i'm trying to say do not get confused because of that so when this value will become like this you would be able to see that if i equal to zero over here then it is going to take this value and then equal to zero then it is going to take this value and then it is going to add the value and that is how it is going to work so do not get confused what exactly is happening over here all right so uh, i'm going to check in the code into my repository and then you would be able to see the code in day 12th uh, which is today and uh, you will be able to clone it download it just try to create it on paper and then if you do not get it then only look at the position uh, look at the solution okay so uh, i hope you guys have understood this part if there is anything feel free to comment below and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one